Hello and welcome to Wild Side Fishing Fly Tying. Now today we're going to be tying a fly called the Copper Goat's Toe. Now the original goat's toe was a red fly with a peacock neck hackle. This fly is a variation that was shown to me by a very good friend of mine in the Highlands called George. We used this this year as a point fly for fishing on some of the bigger lochs and it was probably one of the most successful sea trout flies that we had. It will also take brown trout just as easily. It's also a fantastic salmon fly. So to start this fly, we have got a size 8 long shank hook. So we just put this in the vise. There we go. Now, what we're going to do with this first, we're going to put the tail on. Now, we want to get, this is like, I suppose you call it chartreuse. It's like a neon fluorescent green wool. Now, luckily for me, I've got a knitting shop just down the road. So I went down, asked, and this is what I got. And it's, I mean, anything like this is, is fine. You can also use uh, maybe a floss and you can and you can strand it out, and tie it in. So we'll just put the salt down the shank and stop it off. All right, there. Now, okay, I'm going to trim off a little bit piece here. For the tail, again, simple, just put your wool on. Do one turn around to trap it, and again, as I do with nearly all of my tails, bring it down the length of the body. Now you can see I'm not doing close touching turns here, because I like to trap it in first. So once we get up near the head, oh, we can stop. I'm going to trim this off. And now I'm going to concentrate on the tight turns. And by doing this, it just means you get the same diameter the whole way down the fly. So you get no big bulky bits. I'm going to go back over this again. All the way around. So, we just come up and finish this piece off. I mean, all of this is going to be covered anyway, so you don't have to worry if it's not exactly touching all the way down. So, there we go. Now, trim the tail to about there. So the next thing we're going to add in is the body, and the body is copper wire. Now you can get this from a fly tying shop or you can get this from a hardware shop as well. I mean this is it in bulk. Only it's about four or five euros and I've got what 200 meters. But for tying convenience today we're going to use the small one that comes from the fly fishing shop. Now we're going to tie this in and again I like to just for extra security with this because it, it can snap quite easily when you start to Twist it, just put it on the top and go all the way down. Just bring it back up on the top again. And then go all the way back up. Now that's nice and tight and secure. Now, once you've done that, we bring it all the way down again. So, so far so good. Now, we're going to bring this round and we're just going to start twisting it around the body. Now this can take a little bit of time, so we're going to fast forward this now. Okay, so you've now got the copper wire all the way down the body, up to the head. What we need to do to finish the fly is put on a hackle. Now the hackle material that we use for this fly 
and tr traditionally for the goat's toe is peacock neck and this is a peacock neck feather so this lovely iridescent kind of greeny blue flashed it now what you want to do with this feather strip off all the fluff and you want to pull back the fibers to leave a point now I've prepared one already there we go you can see we've got the point here and we're going to tie this in here and here's the base that we've stripped off that we can use to wind the feather with so holding the feather with the, the flashy side up we're going to tie this in just put a couple of times there and then we're going to just trim these off there we go now try and fold the fibres back when you do this so take the stem in your hand and fold the fibres backwards Now I'm just going to put on the pliers on the end. I mean, you can do this with your fingers as well. I just prefer using pliers. And as we're going around, just make sure those fibers are going backwards. As you go around. And we bring it around again. And bring it around until the last fibre is there. And at this point, you just want to trap that over. I'm going to take off the pliers now and make sure that's nice and tight. You do not want this slipping. If that slips, the whole fly's gone. Put a few on that side. Just to lock it. Now we're going to cut this really damn fine and tidy up the head. There we have it. Now we just finish off the head, the puppy finish. It's not a complicated fly to tie. It takes a bit of time with the body, with the wire, but it's certainly one of the best wet flies you can use in the West Highlands, especially for sea trout. I mean, the goat's toe itself, the classic red goat's toe, has been used for a long, long, long time, and it is still a very good catcher. But this one just, well, I don't know. This year it seems to do the business. So we just finish off the head, as always with the varnish. Just pull those fibres back when you do this, always remember. And stick on a nice big thick coat on top of the silk. There we go. And then we just get a hackle. If I have one here, we've got a point from an older fly here. And just spin that through. And there we go, fly's finished. So, <clears throat> copper goes to, like I said, keep it for the highlands, use it in the highlands. Remember, wild side fishing. Mm -hmm.